Hello guys, there's a lot of reflections on my glasses. I am back on the work table to call it somehow because I am actually working on this idea that I had a couple of months ago but I, I wrote it down on my notes but I never actually do anything about it because I was doing other stuff, I was creating other products, I was going to our markets and you know other things that I had to do and now I am actually having the time to start thinking again about this idea that I wanted to do for a new product and I have been actually feeling quite I don't know like excited and motivated to actually go and do some research and start sketching concepts and ideas and things that I should be taking into consideration when creating the designs. And I wanted to share this process with you. I forgot to record an intro, so this is the intro now. Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea Escalona. I'm a digital artist living in Berlin and sharing my journey here on YouTube of trying to build a career as an artist and building my small business because now I am a small business owner. So if this is the first time that you have joined me, I have a very special video for you today. You have probably saw something in the few first minutes of the video. So without further ado, then yeah, let's start with the video. I have an idea for a couple of sticker sheets. One will be a self-care theme, other will be like a lettering sticker sheet for month, like month names and, you know, weekly names and days, stuff like that for people who like to journal and you know adding these embellishments to their planners or to their notebooks so i actually like how these things look a lot when i use my own planner even though i don't have like this type of stickers i would definitely it was it, it, it is something that i would definitely would like to have and would like to use and so i was feeling like inspired to like work on this and I, s I also realized that since I don't really have this kind of, of stickers there's like many gaps of information that I would need to fill and I decided to sit down today I made like some time on my planner to do some research save some reference and see what it's usually do not I don't want to feel like I've been too influenced by this uh, information that I am getting from the internet searches that I'm doing but I will also like to know like okay so this is actually useful or maybe this is not a good idea because those I mean this research also help you to see what doesn't work either really because you like yeah why would you do this or why would you use this it can help you to filter ideas while also sparkling new ones so so far i have been working on the new illustration stickers and i was thinking about having illustrated stickers about self-care at first i was thinking of them for like adding to like activities to your own calendars or planners or to your notebooks i mean they will be decorative as well so i was thinking that maybe if they were like repeating themselves on the sticker sheet so that you could use it more than once it could be like a good idea but then i quickly realized that i wouldn't like to see like a sticker sheets with the stickers that repeat themselves i mean like people can always you know like get more of one sticker sheet design and in that way i could also add more sticker designs to that sticker sheet and have these fully variated 
sticker sheets full of self-care activities that you can add to your calendars even when maybe sometimes it's the same activity but like represented in a different way it can also be useful that way because it will be i don't know like me time or recharging or time alone and you can have that activity but like in different illustrations so you won't be repeating like even though you're repeating the activity you don't you're not repeating the same sticker and so i thought that that was actually a better idea than the original one that i was working on so now i actually need to add more i need to like write i have been writing already new things that i would like to add but well now i need to like add more to be naturally able to fill that entire sticker sheet and you know try to do something that is actually like cute and that it will bring you joy when you are planning your activities and when you are making time to take care of yourself and of your mental health. It's, it's actually a theme that I have been thinking a lot lately, especially with the end of the year, and we start to like thinking about everything that we have done through the year and ways that we maybe should be taking better care of ourselves and things that we want to do the next year too. So all of these um, reflections in the end of the year have made me think a lot about the importance of self-care and mental health and, and how I would like to create something towards those things, you know? So the other thing was like, okay, for the actually journaling more focused people who like to write the name of the day or, or the name of the month, or maybe if you had, I don't know, like an open calendar or something and you don't want to like write by hand this kind of stuff, then I was also thinking that it would be a good idea to create a sticker sheet with my own handwriting, <laughs> which is not great, but I like the, the natural effects that I can put besides the fact that I won't be using like another person font and see if I like it and if you like it <laughs> it would be definitely something that i will test myself because i'm thinking about diving more into journaling next year in the next month because like we are like half on this half of december so it's like not that much to january and these have been my trail of thoughts while starting to work on this new project so so yeah i'm like working on this but I'm also like taking it slow like when I don't feel like I am feeling like I don't know exhausted or I cannot process any more information or my hand is hurting I cannot really keep drawing anymore then I have been like stopping taking a step back take some rest maybe taking a power nap I want to like share with you a bit of the process and what I already had done in these days, because I also need your input on this stuff. I would love to know your opinion on what type of maybe activities you believe I can be adding to the sticker sheets and maybe if for the journaling sticker part, you would like to have more decorative things like mm, ribbons and color dots and these sort of things because right now I'm focusing on very informational stuff like the illustrated stickers for activity planning or decoration and the daily, monthly and weekly handwrite stickers that you could use to like label what point on the planner you are but I don't know, maybe you would like to see other stuff or, or you know, like maybe you shouldn't miss X activity, like power naps. <laughs> like right now I'm thinking like, hey, that's something that I should include <laughs> because it's something that I have been doing actually. And so yeah, if you have any ideas, any comments on these type of things, please let me know down in the comments. It's, it will be very helpful, helpful to me 
because not only I will be like creating something that I like, but I will creating will be creating something that you actually want to see and would like to get maybe, or you see yourself using, and that feedback is actually very very important for me. So please leave me in the comments if you have any thoughts about this. So as, have, as I have shown you in other moments, I am trying to make a plan on how I want to proceed with these sticker cheat designs. Like what size I want to make them, maybe what number of maximum stickers I can fit into them, if they are going to be single sticker cheats or maybe a combo sticker cheat, what length like the calligraphy sticker cheat could have, I was thinking about making monthly because trying to fit more information than this into an A5 or even A4, I don't know, I found it mm, excessive. So maybe you can try like for one month and if you want more, then you can then like, get more. And well, these are the themes that I was wanting to work with. Self-cares, the Monday Wiki, these, these are for the calligraphy ones. Some journaling theme stickers, some reminders, maybe some goals and to-dos. Maybe even all of these would be combined into one on one sticker sheet. Like this is just things for me to like take notes of things that I think could be useful or that I would like to do. And then I made a notion list with the reference and articles talking about this type of stickers and sticker sheets and their uses. Some Pinterest boards for reference. Here I have some ideas that I actually took note a while ago. And I was like, this would be like a cool journaling. This enters into this category. This would be like a list of cool um, stickers to make, to make. And so I added this sheet over here to keep them near to my sticker sheet plans. This has been my week. I have been actually, if I'm wrong, I started to work on this last week, but I have started to write about it actually this week. <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to take it slow, I swear to God. <laughs> Even though my planner right now looks so busy and chaotic. These are not the things that I'm going to do tomorrow necessarily these are just like notes to myself because i don't want to forget them and i don't feel that there could be like written down here this i need this to be more clean and organized and this is like where all the chaos is happening even though i believe it should be the other way around <laughs> anyway everyone you know has their own world and understand their own self and how they work this is what I look at every day. So for me, it makes more sense to take these notes here and then pass them as tasks for next week. We are almost getting over with this planner. I have loved it so much. It's actually one of the inspirations behind us, what I'm doing because I, I really like I'm, I'm a huge planner user. This is the second year that I have been able to fill to fill one planner completely. But before this, I always have like these like notes, notebooks where I write all the stuff that I had to do and things that I wanted to do. Or we'd have like, I don't know, you have so many hanging here, like open monthly calendars to like reading down things that I need to do. And like I was saying, I was I did make a notion list and I have this product ideas board where I have all of my ideas written down or at least the majority of them. I have a lot of ideas like spread into different places, but well here is where I can like link the digital things that I'm using for like reference, prints ideas, is you know like a bunch of stuff. So I make one list for self-care and journaling sticker and one that I'm going to be working in the future. It will be an open calendar because I want to make a nice template to use myself and for you to have access to. But that will be like, that will be later. <laughs> like right now I'm focusing on just doing this because you know, I have to work one thing at a time.
but since I know that you're not here to just hear me talking about planning and how I make lists and how I plan my tasks for the weeks, I know that you actually want to see what I'm creating, right? Like, you're an artist, what are you making? Why are you drawing? And so I'm going to show you now the progress that I have done. Sorry, I just slammed on the table. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> so let me show you. I started working on these simple designs that I want to add to one single sticker sheet. At first, like I was saying, the plan was to actually have the activities repeated so that you can like plan more than one time of this activity. But then I thought that would be kind of like boring or redundant. And so I liked it better if I just have the different activities. I need to add, like you can see, I need to still like work on some more. And then even though you have this one and this one that are very similar and this one and this one and this one that are also very similar, this and this also falls into the same category. You can still have different designs for them, different illustrations to like decorate your planner or your journal or whatever it is that you decide to use them because they will be so cute that I don't know about you, but I just want to put them everywhere. In my water bottle, in my laptop, in my journal, in my lamp. I have stickers on my lamp as well. So yes, I want to put them everywhere. everywhere. I can't wait to have them manufactured and have them on my hands. I'm also thinking about making them transparent so that you can paste them on top of any surface that maybe have, I don't know, like, uh, you know, color or I don't know, anything and do not clash with the surface that you are putting them to decorate whatever it is that you're using them for. So these are some of the stickers that I offered. I already have the liner done, done for those, but since I work for that part, let me show you. I actually, when I create the liners, I make them big so that I can have, see? So that I can actually add cute details and stuff when I clean them up. So I cannot have them like I have them here where I can see them all and see how they look together. This is, I only do this with, only do this with the sketches so that I can get an idea if they actually look cohesive and, and if they look cute together, like I said. And so, yes, yeah, you can see here, I have, they have names. So you can see they have their own little names and they are all lined up. I mean, all the black lines are done. Now, I still need to color them, but I want to like plan a color palette for them to look all cohesive and also for like the design, like I did when I did the, when I created my sticker sheet for Halloween. Let me show you. So yeah, when I make this design, as you can see, they have a similar color palette, even for the sticker sheet in itself, for the background design. And so I want to do the same thing with this new sticker sheet. And the other part that I started to work yesterday was on the alphabet. Like I don't have great handwrite, handwriting, or yeah, handwriting is what it's called. Uh, digital, sometimes not even <laughs> in physical, but you can see that this, you can totally see that, yeah, this is my handwrite. Like I'm not faking it or anything. It is what it is. I write like that. It's a bit weird. And it might not be, I, I want to change this. I want to actually change this R over here because I realized that I actually do it more like this. 
so I want to do that. So this was like the first version of the alphabet that I'm thinking about using it. I have I made two M's because I wanted to. I mean, I, I'm. On, this also needs to be like designed. So while there's some um, natural outcomes that you leave, you sometimes want to like fix some details like this, like which M was like better and definitely this one is better. But then I was like, okay, that's like the first version. You sometimes stick to the first version, but sometimes you want to try other stuff. And so I created this one. I don't usually use this kind of handwrite because I don't, like I don't like that much my handwrite. I don't do like cute titles and stuff like that, even though I, it is something that I would love to have the ability to do. But well, and then I thought that this could be like a nice thing for like headlines and you know, like if I'm going to be like putting the monthly names and stuff like that, this, this could look cute. That was one version. And then I wanted to try something more condensed because I, I really like condensed calligraphies and stuff. Still, it's, it's still my hand, right? You can totally see this. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's not like fixed or anything. And I also liked this one a lot. So now I have like these three variations of pretty much the same typography. It's, it's my handwriting. And I can totally use them for what I'm going to do. And I like how they look. I only need to finish to create uh, the numbers because I realized that, hey, I'm missing the numbers. I'm going to, I would like to add that too. So that will be, mm, I don't know, maybe next week's part of the tasks, next to picking up a color palette for the sticker sheets. But I am actually very happy and very motivated to be working on this. Maybe it will be something that you guys liked. Please let me know in the comments if you have any idea of what activities should not miss, should not be missing from a sticker sheet or if there's like other theme related stickers that would work for like a self-care or mental health or journaling stickers. I would love to know that too. And also I would love to know, what do you think about my handwriting? <laughs> uh, I know it's not perfect. Like I'm, I'm, it's far, far, far from perfect. I know that I'm not a calligraphy artist or a lettering artist or anything far from that. Like it, it's simply not me, but I like to step in and try to make something that is actually mine an original instead of maybe trying to like use some generic fonts from the internet to do this, which I have seen a lot on my research. I think that creating something that is more true to myself is not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. Not even when I work in my art, I never try to be perfect. And this is very me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy about it. I, I'm, I'm glad to be treating it that way. So please let me know if you if you like it. If you maybe see, I should bring, I should build uh, a sample on what they could look. Maybe I will, and I will show you that. And then you will tell me if you like how they look, because I know that looking at an alphabet, it doesn't make you, it doesn't give you that much context on how the the characters actually looks when you build a word. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sample a couple of names. Maybe my, my birthday month. Oh, maybe I can do that. I'll show you. Give me a minute.
I'm back with the words, with the builded words. I must say that this was actually a good exercise because I noticed that I had a couple of mistakes that I need to fix. And if I wouldn't, would if, if I would have done this, I wouldn't noticed until maybe it was too late to fix it. So this was actually a good idea. Let me show you how they fit. Here you got the first alphabet, up, uppercase letter and lowercase letters. Here you got the second one. My problem with this one, although I like the shapes of it, is that it looks a bit too school-like for me. That's why I'm leaning more towards this kind of stuff. And this one, this was the last one that I sketched last night and I need to fix a lot of stuff. So maybe this I will have to redo it. But for the like the fact that they're like more condensed characters than this one, this one are like a bit more wide open. Just a tiny bit more. That's why I wanted to make like a version which was more thin in space. But yeah, this I still need to work more on this. This is better. This one was better finished than this one. But yeah, you can now like get an idea on how we, they look. I really like how this one looks. Really, really like this one. Yeah, maybe I'll just go with this version. And maybe I'll embellish it, embellish it a bit more. Like, I don't know, maybe I could add some like, this kind of stuff. I'm not sure, this is just an idea. Which is why I'm making it in a separate layer. Like here, I wouldn't know if that's the right place to place that. And <laughs> with the, what, would, what do we do here? <laughs> so, uh, this. Uh, not loving that. Mm, just this, maybe. I don't know. This actually looks quite cute. And it has that sort of handwrite stuff, but still looking very font like. Like I can turn it into a font. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is the one to go. Maybe it was the first version after all. Still this it works. But so far I'm leaning more towards this one. Let me know what you think guys. What which is your favorite? And uh, number one. And uh, number two. And uh, number three or number four. Yeah. These are my quick numbers, but this won't be the numbers that I will be making. <laughs> they are just too messy. I have better numbers, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you would see yourself using some cute stickers that would have like this. Ooh, stuff like that. Oh, maybe not that, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I did realize that I had some problems on the alphabet, so yeah, what a discovery. <laughs> of course that I have. Of course that will happen, I mean, there's always things that I need to fix. And yeah, I'm kind of glad that I spotted those things because now I can work on them and fix them. But I do hope that you like uh, what I've shown you on how they look when you build a world, which is something that I, of course, I will be doing. I, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I really like that first version, even with the new additions that I did. I think it looks pretty fine. For me, that I am not a lettering or calligraphy artist, keep that in mind, please, because this is something way, way, way out of my comfort zone. So yeah, we are stepping into sandy waters here. So I think that 
that will be all. I will keep, of course, working on this and I will keep recording the steps and my thoughts about it. So far, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy on how is, things are going. So follow me on Instagram. I will leave here, you can see my Instagram. You can go, follow me there. I share a lot of stuff there. Well, every my finished work and, and all the products and stuff are shared there. And all new work that sometimes I did not share here on YouTube. You can find it there. And also, if you like the video, please give it a like. It really, really, really makes a difference, the channel. Because then that would tell to YouTube that, hey, this video, I liked it. And I like what she's telling me about or whether she's sharing and he will push it to new people that will find the channel and maybe enjoy it, if you enjoy it. So please let me know, give it a like. If you are not subscribed, please feel free to join the family. We have been slowly growing over this year on YouTube and now 2023 is coming to an end. I was planning to share a video with my end of the year reflections but I am not so sure if I'm gonna do that anymore anyway this might or might not be the last video of the year because after that I will be taking some vacations to be with my husband and to enjoy the holidays so if you like please like it now because maybe you will forget later and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of the videos that I have on my small business series, I have actually a playlist that you can also check when the video is over. I will see you in the next one, whether it's this month or next year. Bye bye! So productive today! <laughs>